Hi, today I'd like to go through how to record the harp. Um, first I'll select the mic. I'll, I've got some different mics here and I'll just go through the various mic options that there are. Um, you can use a ribbon microphone which is quite nice. Um, the, these microphones all pretty much do the same thing but they do them in different ways so, so the sound is uh, that you capture is slightly different. A uh, large condenser microphone which uh, probably most commonly used say as a vocal microphone but sometimes you see them as drum overheads. Uh, that, that's quite nice too, you get a nice result out of those. A trusty dynamic microphone which you've probably seen a lot on stage. Um, another model of dynamic microphone. I, I'd probably use these more if um, if I was uh, recording the harp simultaneously with other instruments because they've got a uh, smaller pickup uh, feel. The pencil condenser, which we're going to use today to re record the, the mic, so it's like the, the large condenser but it's just skinnier and I've got a, a pair of those. This is a, a Rode microphone, made in Australia. Probably the only thing in the studio except for me that's made in Australia. The other option you could use for recording a, a microphone is perhaps a, a transducer, which is um, a, a little metallic... Uh, disc or strip that's uh, attached to the soundboard of the harp um, itself um, and you, you use it in conjunction with the preamp to, to get a signal off the harp. Okay, I'll see you in the live area. Here we are with the harp. I've um, set up two of the pencil condenser microphones. You can just see in the frame one is here and one is over here. Uh, they're pointed towards the harp, fairly equal distance. Uh, I don't have them, don't like to have them much closer than that because otherwise uh, they're very sensitive microphones and uh, they tend to pick up my breathing and you hear that on the track which uh, detracts from the, the performance a little bit. Um, also when I'm about to do some recording I make sure that I've got a, uh, like the right sort of chair, like I, I've got a piano stool in here um, but it, uh, it creaks, they're fairly notorious uh, for that, so uh, avoid creaky chairs, Any um, avoid wearing any jewellery that, that could um, uh, rattle or any clothing that's likely to rustle. Who is it? Naked guy! Yeah. Look, can you come back later? I'm making a video, okay? Alright. Sorry about that. Um, any clothing that might um, rustle, did again detract from the, the performance, so you're trying to avoid all those other sounds. Um, I use a remote control to start uh, the tape uh, player, uh, that, and that way that allows me to be a considerable distance away from the, the computers and, um, and all, all the other noisy machinery in the other room. And I have a clip that's fed through this to, to keep me in time for, for pieces where I'm going to do um, multiple parts. So if I was to do just a harp solo, I may not use the clip, but if I was uh, wanted to put some guitar with it later on, then this is just to keep me in time with the other parts. Back in the control room now. Uh, what you're hearing is the uh, finished um, stereo track. And the next thing I do is take um, the stereo track from the hard disk recorder and put it onto the computer for editing. I then use the computer here for editing the tracks. Um, you may want to edit it to try and get rid of any extraneous noise if any trucks went past or um, or if I made a mistake or um, yeah any other number of reasons you might want to um, boost the volume or just get, get rid of nasty bits so computers are very good editing tool and once I've edited the files to my um, satisfaction um, I will 
use a program like Sony Acid to um, uh, arrange uh, the music so I can audition for, um, different combinations and see what I like. Uh, for instance, this is just the, um, the harp by itself. I can just see on the fly what it sounds like with a bit of um, guitar in the background. Or um, with some xylophone as well, and so on. So that's an overview of how I record the harp and edit the files afterwards. I'm not going to do a mix right now. Uh, we'll save that for another video. Okay, have a great weekend.